hi in this video we will see difference between primitive data types and reference data types so what is the difference between these two data types so so this is the diagram which we already saw in our previous video what are the data types data types are two types primitive and non primitive under the primitive you have numeric non numeric inside the numeric you have integral not floating point and in the integral you have byte short int long in the floating you have float double in non numeric you have boolean and char total eight okay so these are all primitive data types these eight non primitive data types are your string class interface array etc okay so just an introduction to this and if you go here like primitive data type and reference data type the difference so primitive data types are integer boolean double float all these things like eight data types those are comes under primitive data types string class interface arrays etc comes under reference data types so but the main difference between these two if you talk about okay so this is the main different it stores the data but reference data type stores what reference so this is reference this is data this is the main difference primitive data type stores the data but reference data type stores reference okay so it will hold only one value but reference data type can hold more than one value so it is very basic and no it holds only one value it occupies less memory it may occupy more memory so here the size is predefined that we already saw in our previous video integer will take this much of in memory double will take this much of memory something like that okay but this size is not predefined like a class interface how much it will take we don't know like we'll we'll put so much of data inside that inside a class or interface okay it purely depends upon the your class or interface whatever it is arrays so it is fast and it is slow okay these are all basic difference between primitive and reference data types but let we will look into so before going to this let me explain these things in detail okay so uh, let, let me take one example int um, i is equals to 15 okay so let me so int i is equals to 15 okay and uh, character c is equals to a something like this okay when you take something like this how it will store in your memory so let's assume you have your memory something like this okay so something like this okay so inside this the 15 will be stored here and this is called i and it will have a the what do you say the memory reference means uh, some number so it might be 0 into 0 1 2 3 something like that some number will be there this is memory location okay the memory will be represented in this way then if you take a sorry c c is inside a, a so c will be like here stored and this will also have some memory location some one four one something like just random but it looks some similar to like this okay this is how it will it will represent in the memory the value will be stored inside the memory area that memory will have a some reference some location value okay so this is what primitive okay this is primitive what about reference for reference i'll take one string string s is equals to i will write some java okay then how it will be represented in the memory let's take another one kind of memory location so here how it will store e is first you have java okay this java will have one memory location 1 1 1 just assume okay table 1 but 
this will be stored here and it will have another reference okay you have java but s will represent this one okay java will be stored somewhere and that will have a location that location is stored somewhere and that will have a separate location but s will represent this location this location represent here it is having the value java so that is the reason we'll say this is reference data types okay that is reference so this is the basic difference between these two okay and let me take uh, another things like uh, what do you say i'll take another example mm. so int a is equals to a is equals to 5 and i'll take one more thing int b is equals to a okay here 5 i am assigning to a here in the b i am assigning b what is the b value 5 so how it will represent in the memory okay it will represent let me take a bigger memory so here something like this okay so now how it will store in this e is let's take a the actual value how what we have seen here 15 right in the same way 0 1 something like that okay b b also what is it is having 5 so it is 5 something like this okay that we already saw here okay we already saw here so but coming to one more example i'll take with this reference string s1 is equals to i'll take again java string s2 okay string s2 is equals to s1 okay similarly what i did here i am doing the same thing here also but what could be the here how how the behavior will be so for, first what it will do it will store java somewhere we have seen here right and it will have some memory just an example okay now this will store somewhere and it will have another memory location okay and this is s1 okay now s2 okay how s2 will be s2 will also having what okay same reference and it might have other location you see s1 also pointing the same memory location s3 also pointing to the same memory location this is how it will do so if you if you want to um, want to see again now from this from this a is equals to means a is 5 b is 5 okay something like this but coming to the s1 and s2 both are pointing to same java here both are different a5 separately stored b5 separately stored but s1 and s2 referring to the same information with the use of this memory location so here a is 5 b is 5 but here s1 and s2 both are referring to the same memory location where java is okay this is the difference between primitive data type and reference data type okay so internally it will store the information this way now if you go back to possible interview questions from this okay so what are primitive data types what are reference data types can you tell me the difference between primitive and re reference data types with some examples what we saw something like that okay so that's all in this video
थैंक यू